It's an area of the state noted for its majestic scenery, but on this day the treasures were of a monetary nature. State Treasurer John Perdue traveled to Eastern West Virginia Community and Technical College to present more than $240,000 in unclaimed property to people in the Potomac Highlands region. A lot of people didn't know what unclaimed property was when I became state treasurer. I remember we used to travel the state of West Virginia and go to the fairs and festivals and county fairs and uh, we would try to get people to come up and look for unclaimed property and uh, they would uh, think we was from the tax department or someone trying to collect their money. Supported by Delegate Isaac Sponoggle and Eastern President Dr. Chuck Terrell, Treasurer Purdue continued a proud tradition of returning unclaimed property in the Mountain State. And we returned over $120 million in the state of West Virginia since I became state treasurer and started finding people their money, their money, not the state's money. And I think that says a lot for what my people has done. Delegate Sponoggle of Pendleton County praised Treasurer Purdue. Let me just say one thing, too. With the unclaimed property, prior to that being in effect, uh, the banks, the lending institutions, the insurance companies, they just kept this money uh, primarily until this law went into effect. And John's one of the biggest advocates for consumers in the state of West Virginia. Like, that's your money. And instead of the, these financial institutions just taking it and putting it in their pocket, John fights every day and tries to put, make people aware of it and give your money back to them. So I, I truly, he's done an outstanding job as state treasurer. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Treasurer Purdue presented Mary Alice Barb of Hardy County a check for $2,261. She credited Treasurer's Office Field Representative Vic Shockey for finding shares of stock she had failed to cash. I said, are you sure? And he says, yes, I'm sure. So he come down to the house and I said, well, I, did, I, I mean, it, it really amazed me that they would actually go to the extent of finding somebody to give them money. Barb has plans for the money. I have a child in college. This is his third year. And he has to do internship this summer. And we had to get him an apartment. And I didn't know how on earth I was going to pay for that for this summer. And that's what I'm going to do with it. Greg Stone reporting for Treasury Notes.